when you import into Spriter, it's good to make sure that you separate some of the PNGs into different folders like here. It just helps your organization and means it's easy when you work in Spriter. Keep a simple naming convention also. I've named all the back pieces of the body BK underscore. Right now we'll start to import the project. Press new project at the top and select the folder with your character pieces. In the project folder, on the right hand side, you can see the folders you made with the sprites inside. Let's give the character a name and set the first animation to walk. I've put into the body folder a complete version of the character as a single PNG. This we can use to trace on top and make sure that we keep the proportions correct to the original sketch. Click and drag the figure to the canvas. Put his feet at the bottom of the crosshair. This is good for the animation because it's where it's going to appear when you open the file. To make a body piece semi-transparent to make sure that it aligns with your template figure, when you select the body part, there is an object properties panel on the bottom left and an alpha slider. Just slide this down and you'll see that the body section becomes less visible. When you want it back to normal, you can just put the slider back to 100%. Before you drag each piece to the canvas, make sure the pivot is placed correctly. Double click on each of the character piece and you'll see a small crosshair appear. We'll start with the head. Let's move it and drag it down to the right position. The pivot I've added here is a little bit off, I've adjusted it later. You want to actually put it behind the jaw where the neck would be underneath. Having a basic skeleton image as a reference is a good idea when you sketch and design your character, so you understand the best places to put the pivots for animation. Continue with the neck and place the pivot in the bottom middle. Same with the chest. On the left there is a Z order panel. This indicates which body part is drawn above the other when you animate. The head for example should be above the neck. To do this, select the PNG in the Z order box, press Command on Mac or Control on PC and use the arrow keys to move the piece up and down in the panel, depending on if you want it on top or below a certain piece. Continue adjusting the other pivot points like I show here, dragging onto the canvas and then rotating with the handles to make sure each body is correctly aligned. Here I drag the back sections of the character. It's a good idea to make sure the body parts facing away from you are in shadow. This way when you animate you can clearly see which leg and arm is in front of the other. Now just click the Z order in order to correct the body, make final adjustments and we're now ready for rigging.